to Seven Trumpets Prepper. In this video today, guys, I'm gonna show you a simple solution for life-saving medical supply storage that has to be cold storage, um, and a couple ways to upkeep it, multiple ways to power it, and I hope this video is a help to you. With that said, let's get started. Okay, guys, so now I'm gonna step here around this. I just don't wanna block the camera because I've got it on the stand. This right here is a portable power unit. Now, I actually got this one from hurricanewindpower.com. You know, check them out over there. Um, but uh, long and short of it, it has a power supply where you can charge it up. Now, I believe the jacks that go into some of these are between five to eight mil. Um, you can actually get those at like Goal Zero, a sales one. I can put a link in the video description below uh, where that you can get that and it actually spans out into a jack where that you can actually plug in like a 100 watt or a 50 watt panel into the MC4 connector, which is really cool um, and helpful. Now, uh, for charging this up, because some of these will accept like five amps worth of power in, so you could plug in like a, a 100 watt panel into a jack and put that into the DC input. Now, the interesting thing is, and I wanna get this thing plugged up pretty quick, in the meantime while I'm doing this video, but you can see here on these mini fridges, you can get these things for dirt cheap. They can store a ton of uh, medicine for like uh, diabetics and stuff like that, okay, that has to be cold. And you could, you could actually plug up multiple of these, right? But the thing is, right here, it also has, instead of the AC charge input, it has the 12 volt input. So you could actually plug in a cigarette lighter jack and plug that into that, just in case that the inverter uh, AC portion ever went out one of these backup units, you could charge it directly off that too, um, off the battery direct. So that's why I recommend these little power units. But now right here, I'm gonna unplug this thing from charging, and I'm actually going to power the AC part on, and I'm gonna plug this in, and the great thing is it shows actually how much wattage we're actually using. So I'll plug that in, and you can see the fridge has come back on. The thing's using, well, I wanna see it settle out. Mm, 60, I'm gonna say 60 watts once it's settled. Um, uh, it's still continue to drop and okay I think we're stabilized out now no okay well let's just go worst case scenario the things using 60 watts if you have a hundred watt panel during the day that's putting enough power in to keep the unit running also at night time give you enough power to get you through on some of these uh, especially if you get like a thousand watt or a two thousand watt unit or etc I mean like I said there's a bunch out there to be had but I highly encourage going this route because of two things. Like I said, if the inverter portion ever fails, you can go the DC direct on the cigar lighter input or if it has a port for USB type a power up and you can go directly in the DC. Now, if uh, the inverter is working, you can just run it like usual um, and plug directly into the 120. The great thing about these two, I think this one I have is the five mil, but the eight mil input um, like I said, between one of the two, depending on your inverter, and you can always check on the spec sheet, depending on which portable power pack you buy and where you buy it, um, you can use that adapter also to charge these up with a photovoltaic module. So you've got two backups um, from the power source and two ways to power it, which is really great. So I really encourage that, guys, because that right there, for those that have to have life-saving medical supplies every day, um, you know, that is a easy, simple fallback, and you're not trying to power up a large, regular refrigerator. You're just taking care of it uh, with something that's very simple and easy to use, um, low demand. So I hope that's a help to you guys. As always, until we see you again here at Seven Hermits Prepper Channel, hope the most high Al Baruch can keep you, make his face shine upon you, show you favor, and give you shalom, my friends, in Yahushua. Night.